devices and measure those gravitational waves? What, what, if you can speculate in a hundred years, what do you think your discovery will be used for? Yeah, that's an interesting question. I haven't thought much about it. Uh, the, when we think about the future for this field, we think of improving sensitivity uh, so that we can look deeper and deeper into the universe. And in particular, uh, we hope at, at some point, but not the detectors we have now, because they're not, they're not strong enough, they're not sensitive enough. We hope to be able to look at the beginnings of the universe. For example, uh, we hope at some point to have detectors that are sensitive enough so that you can spot black holes over the entire universe so that you can see the evolution of that particular kind of source. And uh, as time goes on, uh, we hope the detectors get more and more sensitive. But I don't think they'll get necessarily small. Uh, that's my guess. They will probably get more and more sensitive if we do our job properly. People follow us. Uh, learn how to make the detector better. There is as easily another factor behind it in the sensitivity of these detectors. And in the process, one would imagine that you begin things like the very, the very earliest moment in the universe. It's one of the ideas that I thought about a lot. But detectors are not sensitive enough to that. For example, there, there are calculations that are done uh, that indicate that the very earliest the universe, right after the universe gets born, there is an enormous amount of background radiation of gravitational wave generated. And that would be absolutely fascinating to see. Now, there are methods that are being tried right now to see those by using uh, radio astronomy and uh, looking at the uh, effects that occur later on in the universe as driven by the earliest gravitational wave. I hope those exist, but there may yet be need do this very directly, look at the gravitational waves directly that come from that earliest effort. That would be a, one of the most fascinating things man could because it'll tell you very much how the universe started. The fascinating idea in gravitational waves, since they're so <clears throat> imperturbable, they go through everything, they will tell you most information that you get about the earliest instance that go on in the universe. At least I hope so. You know, I, I, I think it's an opening field, it's a wonderful field. And I hope it's with man until we really get everything to the point where sensitivities are such that we can do cosmological, cosmological investigation due to gravitational. Okay. We're running a bit short of time. I think there is time for one short question, one short answer, please. Yes. Good morning, Professor Weiss. My name is Erika Neckham. I'm working at the Swedish National News Agency, TT. Uh, congratulations at first. Uh, I, would like, I would like to know uh, what you felt like when you heard the gravitational wave for the first time. Well, what, when, we first, when we first discovered them, yeah, uh, back, in, 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 back in September of 19, uh, 2015, rather, many of us didn't believe it, I have to tell you that. We have a program where we inject signals to test the detector. That's what we thought I was seeing. It took us a long time almost something like two months to really convince ourselves that we had seen a thing that came from the outside and was truly a gravitational wave. It, uh, it was not trivial to convince oneself that one had seen those. And then, as time has now gone on, we've seen more of these events, similar kinds of events from black holes, and it makes it more and more likely, and I'm now very much convinced, I don't think there's anybody left, doubts that uh, detected these gravitational waves. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor Weiss, for being with us at this press conference. And we're looking forward to uh, welcoming you to Stockholm in December. Thank you yeah, very I'm much. I'm looking forward bye -bye. to it too. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 And now, are there any questions for the panel? Or Dr. Botner and Dr. Weiss explained it all to you. Okay, in that case, if there are no further questions, we'll close this session. And I know that several of you have requested individual interviews that will commence. So, thank you very much. <laughs>